So I have worked with Unice in the past and today I am going to be reviewing a curly unit for them. This unit is pretty long. Um, it's actually longer than I thought, especially from when I first took it out of the package and I showed you guys versus now like that it's like washed and everything. I did bleach the knots and then I did pluck it a little bit. Um, with curly units like this, you don't have to pluck it so crazy because a lot of times they come pre-plucked really nice, which you guys saw in the beginning. So yeah, here is the unit. It. this is the inside of the unit now that it has been bleached and everything there are combs in here like I showed you guys earlier this lace is very stretchy and I do want to point that out because I know sometimes people want to know about the actual lace itself this lace is very stretchy um, it isn't hard at all it's actually pretty thin which I like about this lace so let's go ahead and get started y'all already know the first thing that you're gonna need to do is get your base ready honey so I will be using my foundation a lot of people ask me like what foundation like what am I using I, but these are newer people obviously because I have a lot of new subscribers I'm almost at 40,000 subscribers literally 50 people away so yeah but yeah so yeah I'm using this foundation this is my everyday foundation however I do have two of these I have one that I use like on my face and then I have one that I use specifically for hair so yeah here is this brush this is a brush that I got from wet and wild it is a flat top brush you don't have to use this brush but it is my preferred brush to use I have used different types of brushes over the years and this is what I like so you don't have to put a lot on you just want to have like a nice even layer across the entire top half but don't have like nothing too oversaturated because then when you put it on the lace it's going to have a lot of foundation just on that one part of your lace so just be mindful of that so yeah now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some of this foundation on my wig cap now I know a lot of people probably wonder like how come I don't do the bald cap method because a lot of people do the bald cap method and the reason being is just because I don't really find it necessary I used to do it when I first started doing my installs and I just hated like when it would start to lift and stuff like that it was just very annoying honestly and I just I was over it so I was just like girl I'm finna go ahead and push my wig cap back and then I'm going to apply the lace onto my forehead okay region and it's gonna be all good because before I used to be like oh well, are you gonna be able to see the line and no and I've been doing my hair like this for at least the past year and a half almost two years now and it works fine for me honey um I will do a ball cap method um with another unit but not today sis so now I'm gonna go ahead and repeat that exact same step that I did on my wig cap onto my lace front Thank you. 
Okay, you guys, so this is how the hair looks. Um, I just have my hair like pretty much flipped over. Like I said, I don't really have it in any specific style because sometimes I might want it on this side, but then I might want to flip it onto this side and have another little look. But yeah, I really like the length of this hair. It is pretty long. Like I said, I don't know the amount of inches that they sent me, but I feel like this is a 26 inch because I don't remember seeing anything like on the packaging that said any details about the hair. So I'll have to let you guys know in the description box, but I feel like this has to be like a 26 inch. And then if it's not a 26 inch, then I'm gonna let you guys know. This is what the hair looks like in the back. You guys see like where my butt is. This is going all the way down to my butt. So it's really, really long. So yeah, really like this hair though, very sexy. You guys can see like how natural this lace looks like all the way around. Definitely recommend. I definitely recommend this unit. Um, if you guys are interested, a link will be listed down below for this specific wig. Cause y'all know like a lot of times, even when I be looking at like the stock photos that they have like on the website, for the hair, it doesn't motivate you to want to buy the hair. You definitely need like a YouTuber like me that's gonna let you guys know the true tea about the actual hair. Because online, sometimes y'all know they be taking people pictures and putting people pictures up. It don't even be the real picture of the hair. Shopping online is very difficult, and I don't know about you, but I at least watch maybe 10 videos minimum or 10 reviews minimum of a product before I actually buy it because I'm just like, girl, I need to know everything there is to know. And as you guys see, I did do something different, you know, with the baby hair. But yeah, honestly, I just be trying to do different things like with my hair, trying different ways to do my hair, trying different products out because a lot of people like we all use the same products on YouTube. I feel like I feel like we all use the same products. Hairstylists usually use the same products if they work in the same salon together because you see, okay, this is what works. But sometimes you have to like explore and use products that you normally wouldn't use and just try things out and try different ways of doing things because we get so stuck doing the same thing all the time. This definitely has to be like my favorite right now for my baby hair. I don't know what's so different about this one versus the one that comes in the black bottle, but I prefer to use this now for my baby hair because I just like how it works. The other one I feel just works different than this one. It doesn't work the same. Even though you think like, oh, they're both gels, this gel doesn't work like the other one. This one is more like, creamy and it does say it's a new and improved formula like at the bottom but yeah it says new and improved formula but yeah honestly you guys if y'all want to get the bomb baby hairs like yours truly then you definitely should try using this it's super bomb just don't use a lot of it just use a little bit but what i would notice when i would use the got to be gel and i used to use the got to be glue like i don't know it's something about the other gel that just we just don't mesh together. I feel like it makes your baby hairs look too shiny and it just looks so good. Like, I don't even know what else to say other than I really like it. I'm gonna also show you guys what it would look like if you wanted to put it in the middle. If you did wanna wear it in the middle, this is what it would look like. This part over here is a little bit, you know, but this is what it would look like if you wanted to wear it down the center. Still very cute, you know? I mean, you can never go wrong with the middle part. Like, let's just be real here. And like I said, super long, all the way down to the booty. Also, um, I did show you guys that I did get some shedding. So before I go, I do wanna show you the hair that did come out of the hair. Just so you can know, you know, what is a shedding like with this particular unit after you pluck it, after you bleach the knots, after you wash it and everything. This is all the hair that came out, which is not a lot of hair at all. Even though it looks like a really big ball, like I'll make it into a smaller ball for you. So this is all the hair that came out. It's not that bad, you know? It's not bad at all, so yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. If you're not already, make sure you are subscribed to my channel, okay? And let me know in the comment section down below what are some of your favorite products that you like to use for your baby hair. I showed you two of my current favorites right now and I'm obsessed with them. I think you guys should try them out, but if you guys have any suggestions, I would like to try them out as well. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Shout out to You Nice Hair for sponsoring today's video and I'll see all of you guys in my next one. Bye!